Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I'm the proud pastor of the New Horizons Church here in Indianapolis, Indiana, where Christ is the way and the word is clear. And I thank God for our prayer ministry, praying along with me and with you during this fresh fire prayer daily devotional where we're praying about hope in hard times. You know, I'm not um, uh, unaware that we are going through hard times. It's hard times in our world. There are hard times in our nation. There's certainly hard times in our community. And I know if you're like me, there are times when you go through hard times in your family, in your home, in your own life. But the good news is, according to God's word, that he is our hope in hard times. So today we're going to be reading again from Psalm 130, from Psalm 130 and verse 7 and 8. Here's what the New Living Translation of the Word of God says. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption, he himself will redeem Israel from every kind of sin. Amen. As we go and pray to God today about hope in hard times, we want to pray for three things. Number one, we want to just be grateful today and pray and thank God for having hope in him. Secondly, we want to pray and thank God for his love for us, for his unfailing love for us. And then we want to be prayerful and grateful for God's forgiveness of sin. Amen, that we can pray and thank God for his forgiveness of sin. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We magnify you, Lord. We lift you up and we praise your holy name. God, we thank you this day that you are God and you are God all by yourself. There is no other God like you. There is no other God beside you. And there is no other God before you. God, we take a moment and just bow in your presence. Lord, we take a moment to just breathe and bask in your presence. Lord, that we live in you and breathe in you and we have our being in you. And for that, God, we are eternally grateful. We thank you, Lord God, for the fact that we have hope in you. You told us, Lord God, to place our hope in you, for you care for us. So we thank you, Lord God, that we can come to you in these hard times in which we live in. Wars around the world and rumors of wars, difficulty and division and, and, and danger in our country, Lord. We come to you, Lord, about the, the depression that is set in on our communities and the hard times and the difficult situations we face as a family and even the dark seasons that we go through individually. But Lord, despite it all, we have hope in you. No matter what's going on around the world or in our nation or in our community or in our family or even with us personally, Lord, we have not given up. We have not thrown in the towel. We have not jumped off a bridge or, or slit our wrist because we still have hope in you. Lord God, you have been our hope down through the generations and you are our hope now. We have set our hope on you and we are grateful and thank you, Lord, that we have hope in your name. We, we are grateful and thankful, Lord God, that you have unfailing love toward us, that your love is unconditional, that it does not matter, Lord, how we treat you. It does not matter what we do and don't do, Lord, for your love is unfailing that you are faithful in your love to us, that even when we are unfaithful in our love for you and expressing our love for you, you are always and at all times and in all ways a loving God toward us. We thank you for your love for us, that you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross, hallelujah, and to be raised from the dead for the forgiveness of our sin. Thank you, Lord, for loving us enough to send us a Savior who loves our souls and paid the price, the penalty for our sins, that we might go free and have eternal life in your name. Thank you, Lord, for loving us enough to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. We thank and bless you and praise you, O God, 
for who you are and what you mean to us, for your love showing up and showing out in our lives and through our lives and through our loved ones. God, thank you for your unfailing love. And then thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness of sin, that when we make mistakes, when we sin and fall short of your glory, when we don't live up to the life you've called us to live, when we miss the mark, when we transgress the line, Lord, you cleanse us and purify us through the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sin. Thank you, Lord, for covering us in our sin. Thank you, Lord, for purifying us of all unrighteousness. Your forgiveness, Lord, frees us in whom the Son has set free is free indeed. God, we love you and we honor you today. God, we set our hope upon you. God, we glorify you for loving us. And we thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of our sins. You are a great God, and you are greatly to be praised. So, God, with the fruit of our lips, we just say thank you. We just say hallelujah. We say praise the name of the Lord, for you are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah to your name, O God. Glory to your name. We magnify you. We lift you up and praise your holy name. Lord, you are worthy of our praise. Hallelujah to the Lord God in the highest. Hallelujah to your name. Thank you, God, for your hope. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, today was day number 17, and we prayed from Psalm 130, verse 7 and 8. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. He himself will redeem Israel from every kind of sin. I love you in the Lord. Thank you for praying with us today. We'll be back tomorrow. Put your hope in the Lord. He loves you and he loves me and he'll forgive us for every one of our sins. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. In the meantime, be victorious. God bless.